Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. In 2025, I believe the toughest part is picking up the right stream in IT. I see a lot of comments on the videos of the channel as well saying, Abhishek, we are currently impacted by AI agents. We are currently impacted by large language models. Which stream do we have to switch to? Of course, there are fields which are not currently impacted by AI. For example, cybersecurity, DevOps and cloud, data science. I personally have my expertise in DevOps and cloud. So in this video, I will give you three reasons why DevOps and cloud is standing out in the world of AI. Now, if you like these three reasons, you can definitely consider DevOps and cloud going ahead. So make sure you watch this video till the end and also let me know in the comment section if you have any questions on this topic. Let's get started. The first reason is Kubernetes management. If you look at traditional software applications, the applications that we deal with on day to day basis, they are obviously deployed to Kubernetes software development lifecycle. End of the day, these applications have been deployed to Kubernetes. But right now, even machine learning models and large language models are considering Kubernetes as the target platform. Even you can look at companies like OpenAI are deploying their workloads to Kubernetes. So imagine the size of Kubernetes clusters that we are going to deal in future. Already Kubernetes management is a very difficult thing. DevOps and cloud engineers, even SRE engineers, spend majority of their time at this point dealing with the Kubernetes clusters, finding out issues with the Kubernetes cluster, dealing with the Kubernetes resources, dealing with the CPU, memory, scale of Kubernetes clusters. And going ahead, this is going to be a major opportunity for DevOps and cloud engineers. You might be already seeing applications like kubesaw v cluster gaining significance and this is a live proof that there will be an opportunity for devops and cloud engineers and there will be opportunity for kubernetes management second reason why i believe devops and cloud will stand out is observability this is also a shared responsibility of site reliability engineers of course Observability defines the internal state of the applications. The good point about observability, it is not restricted to traditional software applications. It is also applicable for machine learning models or workloads. This is also applicable for large language models because these models are being used concurrently by thousands of users. Just take an example. Imagine how many users use ChatGPT concurrently. Now, if OpenAI does not have the dashboards which define the state of ChatGPT internally, when ChatGPT is down, when ChatGPT is facing anomaly detection, right? Any anomalies, or when there are abrupt spikes with respect to ChatGPT performance. If OpenAI does not understand this, there is no way they can build better version of ChatGPT in the future. So going ahead, we will be dealing with multiple concurrent users on the applications or on the workloads. So observability is going to play a critical role. Open telemetry, metrics, logs, traces, and enterprise observability platforms, I believe will play an important role in the future. Now, the third reason and something that will not be replaced by AI is infrastructure as code, at least not in the near future. Okay, I cannot talk about five years, seven years down the line, but infrastructure as code today is so complex that it cannot be dealt with AI agents. See, AI agents can create the initial infrastructure. There is no question about it. Definitely there are powerful models which can understand your requirements and maybe create a Kubernetes cluster or maybe create a 
uh, open search cluster for you but they are not capable of maintaining the infrastructure because it needs a lot of context imagine today an ai agent created infrastructure for you 6 months down the line it will not have the context of what infrastructure was created again you provide it with a prompt it loses the context it might recreate the infrastructure or it might mess up the infrastructure that is available and this is a problem that lot of companies are facing with ai agents today lacking the context to create an existing sorry to create a complete new infrastructure ai agents will work absolutely fine you have powerful models today as well but maintaining the context maintaining the infrastructure maintaining for example the state file of terraform identifying the drift on the infrastructure is super super complicated and still it needs a human intervention so this is one of the reasons why devops and cloud is going to stand out in the future all the three reasons whether it is kubernetes management whether it is observability or whether it is infrastructure as code is so complex today that your ai agents cannot deal with and most of the models this is an important thing are primarily focused on development so if you look at any top model today they are not built for devops engineers there are few very models that are focused on sre but majority of them are focused on web development majority of them are focused on full stack development and making the life of full stack developers easy because devops and cloud is very niche companies are not focusing on this particular area so yeah for all of these reasons i personally believe this is a field that is going to stand out comment down your opinion if you think otherwise let me know with this with the reasons why do you think otherwise i'm more than happy replying to comments on this video see you all in the next one take care bye bye